hello and welcome to the show. A police car has just gone past. That is a really good start. Excuse me, I don't don't mind me. I'm parked quite badly in a silly place. Never mind. It's fine. Don't worry about me, officer. Uh, I'm here on the crew. I didn't want to do just sort of like a, a simple, normal, boring let's play on this game and go through the early stuff that everybody's seen a thousand times on the uh, on the betas. So I've played through. In fact, I've completed the, the the sort of the main story story missions, if you like, on this game. Uh, I've gone off and found some of the wrecked cars. That's why I have this absolutely crazy uh, hot rod. This is the circuit racing version of the hot rod. Uh, it's got like, this game does really well for almighty wings. I mean, this one is so almighty it has to be tied to the roof of the car. That's how big. <laughs> that's how <laughs> it's just crazy. This thing. Yeah, there's quite a few cars with various uh, all sorts of silly, silly wings. Um, yeah, and I got this. I thought I'd experiment with it. And of course, it is painted orange uh, with a uh, with a black stripe. I'm going to do a bit of a, a bit of a road trip from uh, Los Angeles to Las Vegas. Uh, and yeah, kind of just generally, uh, generally talk about uh, the game. So the first thing, the main, the big important thing uh, with, with any racing game, I've said plenty of times before, is the handling physics. Now, when I played the crew beta on PC a while back, there were some concerns, shall we say. I had some, some fairly major concerns over the handling model. It is safe to say it is better than when I played it back then. It is better than it was uh, back then, and it... I think the, the the very the very last beta on Xbox One, uh, whenever that was, just before this, this was released, and um, yeah, it's, it's got that handling system. The handling on here is not terrible. It's not perfect though. There is uh, there is an issue with it. It took me a long time to try and figure out what the issue was uh, on this game. I think I have finally cracked it. Uh, the slower cars tend to be. Uh, tend to be very good, very fun to drive. It is an arcade driving game, this one. It is not an ultra-realistic simulator game. Okay, it's, it's much more arcade handling system. That's not a bad thing. I don't have a wee with a big slide. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a problem with uh, with arcade arcade racing games. If they're done well, they can be very, very good. I'm thinking of sort of Burnout Paradise, PGR 4 style. They have fantastic handling models. On here, it is all good up until a point. Once you start spinning the wheels, the game cannot decide what it wants to do with the cars. It just doesn't seem to know. Uh, the easiest way I can explain it, the closest I can explain it to, to another game, somebody's causing a traffic jam over there with their Nissan, is back on 4 to 5, me and Husky were doing a challenge video where we were dumping in, it was a NASCAR engine, into various uh, various silly vehicles and then leaving everything absolutely stock. Now, when you put that much power, through, I think it was the Ford Deluxe Coupe, the really really old car. Okay, when you put that much power through the the Ford Deluxe, uh, it kind of made it uh, the differential just couldn't deal with it. It just span one wheel constantly. When you sort of start spinning the wheels up in uh, in cars on here, that's what it feels like. It feels like they have dodgy differentials. They're not spinning up one wheel. You can watch it if I just. Uh, Hold on, we'll, we'll, we'll slam on the brakes in the middle of the motorway, it's fine, we're going to get going pretty quickly. Uh, now to change camera angle. Right, when we set off, you will... Okay, we're not even going to spin the wheels, we've got enough traction. You will... Yeah, you can see that we're leaving two black lines. I, I picked the wrong calf to show you that with. Um, yeah, you will... You will. It's, 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 it's like visually you're seeing it spin up two wheels. It just feels as if it's only spinning up one, which makes the handling really, really odd. The faster the car, the worse it is. Uh, I, I haven't seen the inside of this car since I painted it orange. Dear God, it is bright in here. You also just see nothing out of the front. <laughs> Visibility's been pretty good in every vehicle apart from this hot rod. There is just none of it, and most of it's taken up by the blower again. Dear God. Um, okay, we're not going to use that angle. <laughs> um, hmm, okay. Yeah, not an easy car to drive so much from the uh, from the cockpit view. Uh, I got distracted. Yes, for, for whatever reason, whenever you whenever you spin the wheels up, whenever you're, you're driving around, it just feels wrong. In the slower cars, you're all right. I mean, you're not really spinning the wheels up as much in the uh, in the slower cars, so you get away with it. In the fast vehicles, it's really, really quite bad. There was a race, uh, I think it's some sort of like exhibition race on here, where you race the rough, is it CTF, like the supercar one? You race that, uh, and you're, you're racing that around or whatever, and that is horrible to drive at sort of 180 miles an hour plus. It is absolutely atrocious. The course itself is quite fast and very bumpy, and as the car goes over the bumps and landing, it just can't 
can't quite decide what it wants to do with the sort of the traction. It's horrible. It's really really very 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 difficult uh to drive that is just one race in particular uh on a, on, for a large portion of the time though the handling is it's it's solid it's not spectacular it's certainly not as good as horizon 2 but it is it is it's a solid handling model and the cars are quite enjoyable oh god where are we okay we're going off here now hmm it gets a little bit bumpy on uh, <laughs> on these roads yeah i mean the the, the handling is I still enjoy driving this game, and driving in this game. I enjoy driving around and, and, and going exploring and so on. Uh, you just have to be aware that when it gets to the fast cars, you've got to be a little bit careful. This is the sort of road that these circuit cars, they don't, they don't really, <laughs> don't really like it so much. Whoa, don't go on the dirt. It's not fun out there. Uh, th this is actually quite a lot, quite a lot better than uh, than my Alfa Romeo that I've got. Whoa. Okay, it's still slidey, but it's nowhere near as slidey as the uh, uh, as the Alpha. Uh, so yeah, handling model handling model is good. Of course, this game does look absolutely fantastic. I am playing it on PC primarily because I got it for a hell of a lot cheaper. I think I, <laughs> I ended up getting it for like twenty three quid, I think, on PC, which is not bad. I'm avoiding them things at the moment. So I can't be bothered. In fact, I've actually done that one to platinum at the moment, but uh, can't be bothered to do them. Yeah, this game does look absolutely fantastic. It really is a very, very good looking game, uh, and for a map that is so huge, such as this one is, that's quite an achievement, I have to say. That's whoopsie, we found a tree. We buggered it up. Uh, <laughs> the, the hot rod wanted to climb a tree. Oops, no, no. Can we get back on the road? We have absolutely no grip and turning when we're out on the uh, on the dirt stuff. There we go. We're fine. We're back together again. Um, what was I saying? Yes, the, 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 the game looks fantastic. All the areas that I've found. I mean, I've only found the occasional visual glitch here and there with rocks being a bit odd in a couple of places. And considering the size of this bloody map. That I'm, I, that's not really surprising, uh, but there are some absolutely fantastic. This I'm actually glad we've ended up on this road because this is a fantastic little, uh, little windy road that goes through uh, forest. There are loads of absolutely fantastic sort of little rally roads to uh, to go exploring. And the detail, again, considering the size of this game, the detail is very very good. You might have seen at the at the start, for example, this thing here got a blur on the hood. It actually functions. It actually works. Look at that. I can't remember what handbrake is. That's handbrake. There we go. It's, a, it's, it's just little details like that, as, as you sort of start. All the cars have the uh, the cockpit view, and this will uh, change as, as the car, depending on what class the car is in. Uh, it'll it'll change, so in this, this circuit vehicle, we've got all the buttons and the switches. Uh, hold on, I'll just go quickly grab out something else. Uh, what have we got that I can show you? Uh, we've got performance, here we go. Alpha 8C performance car. Uh, this is sort of like your, your modified supercars, if you like. And this has got a pretty almighty wing as well. There we go. <laughs> it's just if you like silly wings, this is the game for you. And silly diffusers. There's quite a lot of them. Not quite as silly as the hot rod, but um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. I, I'm using controls from wrong games. Uh, the back button that's the camera change in GTA 5 is the map button on here, and I keep pressing the wrong thing. Uh, so yeah, the, that's the performance alpha. And if we go to the circuit alpha, there we go. That's the one we want. Circuit alpha, and then the interiors all changed. I mean, it's okay. The, the the interiors do share some similarities between the circuit cars. Most of them have this little digital display on them. Uh, and if we go, do, 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 I've try, I've <laughs> frantically try to remember all the controls. Uh, there we go. We'll go for the the dodge. Uh, the Dodge Challenger, this is my first vehicle. Okay, yeah, the, we've got the Raid version here. The interior is still fairly similar to the standard car. But it's, there's, there's loads and loads of detail. Uh, oh, there's a Camaro coming along here. Um, yeah, there's absolutely a fantastically... Are you not going to overtake at all? You're going to go? There we go, you are going to go. Uh, detail is really, very, very good uh, in this game. Let's get back to my, my hot rod. I do like the hot rod. There we go. Right, we'll go... We'll see. We'll go... Uh, we're <laughs> We'll go back to driving this. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic looking game. As far as I can tell, there isn't there isn't weather as such. There is sort of light snow in the snowy area, and there is, uh, I, I guess you could say, kind of dynamic weather in that it does seem to change between sort of cloudy and, and sunny and so on and so forth. Although I'm not sure if that's not just changing depending on the area you go. Uh, if some areas are permanently... Oh, bugger it, I've started this event. Uh, I can't decide if some areas are just permanently cloudy or, or quite what it is. It, but it, it does all look fantastic. There's a full-on day-night cycle. Uh, right, let's try... Oh, good God, the bumps are horrible. <laughs> the bumps are absolutely atrocious on this bit of road. As, as exciting a, a road as this is, circuit cars are not that 
fond of it. Come on, get round the corner. Whoa, big, big slice, just about keeping that together. Come on, stay on the little, stay on the little line. Uh, and also, you'll see on the uh, Lamborghini Ghost car that's got going on. That has also got a stupendous wing. Right, we will give it some nitro. Nitro is absolutely pointless. I'll get to that in a minute once we've. Uh, <laughs> Finish this race, or this, this this mini event, if you like. Ah, I just missed out on the gold. Okay, we got a silver. We got a a part for this car. I'm not going to put the part in this car because I'm going to be. Whoa, no, 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 no! Don't go off the edge. Don't go off the edge. Just go back there. Um, whew, that nearly ended quite poorly. Right, continue. Okay, so we've covered looks of the game and the handling system, both of which are yeah, they're, they're they're pretty good. Then we come to the actual events, the actual sort of the missions, the, the races and so on. That is where things start to go downhill. Things go downhill quite quickly with the missions. The problem is, uh, there's, there's a few problems. First of all, the difficulty level for them seems almost random. It spikes horribly. There are some, there are some missions that are terribly difficult and the next one will be incredibly easy. What it tends to be, the races don't tend to be too hard. There's these certain missions where you have to catch up and destroy a, uh, an opponent vehicle. They are an absolute pain in the arse. They're some of the most infuriating missions I think I've ever done, especially one where the police are after you but not the car you're trying to chase. It is terrible because there is a stupid catch-up mechanic. Now, I hate having catch-up mechanics in games. It really irritates me having a catch-up system. But this one is so annoying in that if I crash my car, it will then slow down the opponent car so I can catch up, which is okay, fine, if that's what, if that's what you're going to do. But the problem is, once I then catch up to the opponent car, it then decides that the opponent car is going to match my speed. Now, I'm trying to destroy this vehicle, and if that... Whoa, I got on the bloody dirt. Oh, go away. Um, and yeah, if, if, if I'm chasing a vehicle of similar performance, and the game has decided it's, it's now on a long straight, and that car is going to match my speed and floor it, I can't do anything to damage it. If there's no corners, there's no there's no braking sections and so on. I can't do anything to try and uh, slow that car slow that car down, do damage to that car. So you just end up with these very long, boring. Oh, come on, get through the. Oh, I'm missing these gates terribly now. Ah, oh, I could have had a platinum medal on that one. God damn it. Um, yeah, the the, the 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 destroying missions are really not very good. They they really annoy me with the uh, with the, with the catch up mechanics. Uh, yeah, they're just not that much fun. The actual races, they're okay. They're just not that exciting. Fortunately, none of them are really well. I say none of them are really stupidly long. The actual sort of story missions, none of them are particularly stupidly long. Uh, so they're they're just about survivable. But yeah, they're, they're nothing. They're nothing exciting. There's nothing more than either a point-to-point -point race or you have a few AIs to deal with. I think you get up to about eight cars at once, I think is the most you have on track. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, there's nothing There's nothing revolutionary, uh, nothing uh, amazingly ex exciting with the races. The game is much more fun, uh, just sort of the, the, the cruising around. There are some very, some very long events, um, and this is where things get a little bit complicated because I've not really really done the, the, these sort of things yet but uh, money in this game is a little bit it's a little bit strange and quite frankly irritating I have completed I'm just gonna pull over here quickly I have completed uh, the the main story mission I have bought one car I have the one vehicle I have bought in this game the Alfa Romeo 8c uh, that cost a hundred thousand dollars or whatever and as you can see I have a hundred and eighty one thousand dollars when I completed the entirety of the single player I had 120,000. So if you buy no car at all in this, and you can get through the entire story missions of this game using just the vehicle that you start with in the various different configurations, dirt, circuit, performance, and so on. Uh, all the starter cars can be all of the different categories. Um, you would finish the game with, or finish the story missions with 230, or around 230, it depends on how many of those little side missions you'd do. 230,000 dollars which wouldn't even be enough to buy a hummer you all of the missions and you couldn't afford to buy a hummer you could you can afford to buy a fair few cars with that but you certainly couldn't get some of the the, the the top end the top end supercars and stuff after completing all of the story missions you won't have enough money your only options after there 
uh, to, to earn money are these faction missions. I don't know if we've got any around here. There is one up here. Actually, I'm not going to go. I don't know what one is. We'll just go to, we'll go to the map and have a look at a, a few of these. Now, these are... I'm not quite sure quite how it works, but these are basically much longer races. For example, this one here, it says duration more than an hour. The, the fact that it says four hours in the brackets would suggest maybe that's a four hour... I hope that's not a four hour. I'm never going to do it if it's a four hour race. You can forget about it. Um, but that's supposed to take... Okay, let's just say it's, it's not an entire four hours. Let's just say it is an hour and a half. That's more than an hour. That's only $88,000 bucks, is called, whatever it's called on here, for a, a, over an hour of driving. No, no, no! I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be doing that uh, again. All of these. Okay, this one. That's an escape from the police one. Eight thousand, or near, near enough. Nine thousand. There are a few of these that are a little bit shorter ones. I think this is one of them. There we go. Duration: ten to sixty minutes, depending on how well you drive. There's still only thirty-three thousand bucks. Let's say that it's half an hour. That's a hell of a lot of driving for not very much money. And that is my concern with this game. If you want to get money, there are other ways of getting money other than the actual the actual races. There's these little landmark things that go around. God dear, where is it? Exploration, there we go. You can find these, and each one of these you find you get $2,000. Uh, your best bet really is to do the online races, the, player, the, the PvP races. Uh, I think you get, it doesn't really matter what position you come, you get 16,000 bucks regardless of where you come. As, and their races are normally sort of two or three minutes. So if you want to make money, as far as I can tell, your best bet is just go and mess around in the online stuff. Uh, you will make money, but it's still a very slow process. Even even with them, that's not too bad, but it's still a, still a pretty damn slow progress. So, yeah, if you want to get like the, I think the LaFerrari, I can't remember how much that is. It's quite a lot of money, though. So if you want to get that, you're going to be spending a hell of a lot of time for just a single bloody car. And Because I like messing around with vehicles. I like experimenting with lots of different cars. And that's not good for me <laughs> if I'm having to spend so long to get each each individual car. Uh, I do like some of the some of uh, the way the upgrades work on this game. They are quite cool. That's actually part of the reason why I came here to uh, Las Vegas. Where is the tuning shop? I have no bloody clue. Ah, there it is. Whoopsie. Zooming. I love the map. The map is fantastic on here. Um, uh, let's, let's, if, we, if we zoom in really, oops, that's, that's over the wrong place. If we zoom in really close, whoop, over here, over here. It, whoop, there we go. Zoom in really close. You can see what's going on. You can see your car. You can see the traffic. Can we find another player? Is there another player around anywhere nearby? Here we go. Here's a player. If we zoom in uh, on them, we will hopefully... There you go. You can watch them. I can't focus on them with the thing up there. Uh, we, you can watch them go. <laughs> I want to show the car without the information. But there you go. You can watch the cars wheeling around. That is really very cool. I love that. The map on this is fantastic. It really is. Um... Right, we will... Oh yeah, what I think about it? Um, in case you're having trouble finding the little... Um, what's it called? The little wreck cars, like the, the silly thing that I have at the moment, the hot rod. If you go under the exploration tab, it shows up the little area where they were. It took me a long time before I realised this. I started looking at guides on the internet to find the cars until I realised that there was actually... Uh, it actually shows it up. That's a really nice feature. I'm so glad that they, <laughs> that they did that. It means you can go hunting for these wrecks uh, with, a, with a, lot, a lot better idea of where they are. Because, I mean, this map is so bloody huge. It would take forever to find the, the, the wrecks. Anyway, upgrades. Yes, I do like the upgrade system. So, let's go and do... Uh, after all that, I didn't even select, uh, select the, the sat nav. I'll just maximize that thing uh of all the class of cars i have to say raid is probably my is my favorite sort of vehicle i don't drive it that much because it's it's fairly slow when you're on the uh when you're on the tarmac but i do love the raid cars they are absolutely bonkers uh well we'll get turned down here i'm hoping yeah Ooh, god damn it uh <laughs> Hmm, the, the one-way system here is quite interesting. Uh, this thing is crazy fast accelerating. We want to go down here. Ooh, understeer, please turn. There we go. We just, <laughs> God just momentarily ran out of steering. That's not helpful. We in across another curb. Right, there we go. Right, raid. Uh, shoot, I'll just get in my raid car. Oh, no, oh, bloody button. <laughs> I will get these controls sorted eventually. Uh, right, mobile garage. This is the one we want. Raid, raid challenger. Here we go. Quite a quite a crazy contraption this one as well. Right, we'll back this one up into the tuner shop. Right. So as I said, there are there are four categories of each vehicle, and then standard. I think that's right in saying. There's a big billboard thing that uh, that that tells you everything over here. There we go. 
Um, right, so yeah, there's uh, five categories. One, two, three, yeah, five categories in standard, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so these are, these are all the different groups of cars. Not all cars can be all of the categories, as you can see here. Uh, for example, the Viper and the Alpha can only be performance and circuit cars. Uh, all the standard cars can be the, the multiple categories. A lot of the classic cars, uh, I think there were some off-road classic cars. Is it the Camaro? Yeah, we, there we go, the Camaro and the Charger, they can be... Uh, dirt cars. Not very many can be race. Actually, I'm very surprised that the um, what's it called? The Raptor can't be a a raid car. That's that's unusual. Uh, it's not a huge car list on here. I'll be honest. It's not massive. Uh, the Hummer. The Hummer can be a raid vehicle. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why the Rough can be a raid car and the the Raptor can't be. Uh, there's enough vehicles to choose from to keep things interesting with the. Uh, with the various different categories. Did we go past the LaFerrari? I wanted to see how much the damn thing cost. Uh, oh, there we go, because Cohen Segura, 774,000. It's going to be a long time saving if I want to have a go with that car. And I do, because I like the Agera. But, um, right, back to the back to the actual upgrading. Whoops, it once, so once you've selected your the kit for your vehicle, uh, you can go to Tune Car, and then you have various options for, for tuning. You can put colours on it, you can put stickers on it, and so on. Oh, you can't do, you can't do Raid. Ass. That was a silly thing. Um, the, <laughs> crap, I thought you... Oh, maybe it's not Ray. In circuit class, there are no other options. Maybe off-road, then. Uh, off-road and performance, the only ones with options. That sucks. Uh, right, we will just go and... Uh, you, we can. We will whiz around to the off-road tuner that I think is... Uh, over here we go. Once you've visited a place, you can then fast travel back to it. So, as you can see on this map, the areas that are coloured in are places that I've gone. And if, if I've gone there, I can instantly jump back to any place there. It doesn't have to, even have to be on a road. I can jump back into the middle of a field, if I so chose. Uh, right, so let's go to uh, the dirt car tuner. This one, we should be able to change uh, the parts around. Thank you. Right. Uh, yes, I, you already own... I know, I, just, I want to get into this one. There we go. Right, the dirt version of the car. Slightly less extreme. Uh, <laughs> This one. And then we have all sorts of various front bumpers that we can uh, put on the vehicle. Uh, each of these... Oh, that is a fantastic one. <laughs> there are some crazy body kits. Yes, we will go for the snowplow on the front. We got any crazy diffusers for the back of this car? I don't know. Well, that's, that, that's a diffuser of sorts. Uh, um, what's the difference between these two? Oh, the, light, the lights are different. Uh, yes, we'll go with that one. Uh, sometimes you can change the fenders. Have we got any interesting side skirts? No, nope, that's just a non-carbon fibre one. I don't care about rims or side mirrors. Rear wing. Do we have... Oh, uh, we do have a, a, a sizeable wing. Not not too big. Oh, I was hoping for one of those, uh, what's it called ones. Like the hill climb wings. And any interesting bonnets particularly? Uh, I think the, the one we had to start with was about as, as, as crazy as it gets. There we go. Uh, now we've got a snowplow on the front. So, yeah, the visual stuff, it's... There's, there's some interesting options, certainly, for cars. Although, apparently, raid cars and circuit cars don't have any to choose from. Performance parts is where things get really interesting. I like this system. It's a strange system, but I do like this system. So, and I also love the animations. It's fantastic little animations that go on. But uh, in the performance category, there are these various sections. Sort of standard, standard section. Tires, brakes, and so on and so forth. When we go into... Oh, uh, we can't... I can't show you. I thought you could buy parts. Can you not buy... Oh, maybe you can't buy parts from the catalogue. Um, but each of these parts here can be uh, upgraded individually. I thought you could buy them, but uh, apparently you can't. Now, the way you upgrade them is to complete the challenges that you saw me doing, the one we had to keep on the racing line earlier. Now, if we go, can we can we show you here? I think we... No, that's the wrong one. Uh, mobile tuner. Here we go. So this is the, the map of parts that I have on my car. As you can see, we've got all sorts of various different different levels of parts. So the exhaust is a level 38 exhaust bit. The air system is only a level 23. Uh, and then there's all sorts of various different things. So you have to go around collecting these parts to make your car quicker. So if we go onto the map... Can we, can we find any... Uh, I guess all the parts we're going to want are going to be the high level stuff. Uh, is it skills that they're called? Yes, it is. There we go. Um, over here. We're going to be wanting to go over here. This is where the highest level parts are. Uh, so, for example, let's go do this. This. Oh, crap. That's not one we can do because we haven't visited it. Um, never mind. We'll just fast travel down here and then we'll go drive up to it. So, yeah, when you complete one of these events, you get the part that you can then add to your car and you can keep making your car faster and faster. So, it means that the vehicles that you start with can then compete with. The, the later on supercars. You can keep adding to your car. Uh, 
I, I kind I kind of like this system that everything can compete with each other uh, as you get more and more. But I mean, I guess you know, once you get to the supercar, have a really highly modified supercar, it's probably going to be quicker than the uh, the sort of the, the dodge or whatever it is that you that you choose to start with. Whoopsie, I've gone a little bit too fast uh, into this. Oh crap! We're in a field and I can't see a bloody thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I, I do like this. There's, there's suddenly a sense of. So it's almost a sense of ownership with your cars that you've worked you've worked hard to get all of the best parts for your for your vehicle. You've unlocked all of the best parts to make it as fast as possible, uh, and it does make you keep wanting to, to to unlock unlock things and and use certain cars. You become quite attached to uh, to some of your vehicles. I've spent so much bloody time uh, driving both this Dodge and the Alpha. Uh, I mean that's kind of the, the plus side to, to uh, I guess in, in a way having less money, having less cars. Oh dear, this is not going particularly well. Uh, we might oh, not quite going to get a gold. So there we go. We've got a silver part now uh, for this car, We've got a level 42 exhaust, which is pretty good. And then we can put this on the on the vehicle, and then we get a performance increase. But because my exhaust was already fairly good, it's not too big of an increase. I need a was an air filter or air system or something like that that uh, that I could do with, and that will give me a big. A uh, big jump in performance. So yeah, you want to get as, as many high, as high part, high, high performance parts as you want. Although this, uh, the, the whole rating system, it's not sort of do or die. You don't have to have the ultimate of everything. It still comes down to your driving. You've still got to drive, drive well. I've, as I said, I'm doing some multiplayer stuff, and uh, just because cars were higher rated than me doesn't mean that I couldn't still beat them. You know, still, <laughs> you you make mistakes, you still got to come last in a race. You still got to have to drive well. Uh, oh crap, I didn't realise this was on, actually on Laguna Seca. Okay, well, I, I want this. Uh, <laughs> probably not so good driving. Yeah, this is designed more for the circuit cars than uh, than the off-road vehicles. Whoa, we've got... <laughs> we've fluffed that one up. There's... Uh, th while it doesn't actually say on the stuff specifically what kind of car it's designed for, if you like, there is noticeable, you know, you're not going to take uh, a circuit car down these these events that are held on the dirt roads and likewise I shouldn't really be doing this uh, this doesn't particularly like it's not a particularly good handling car anymore with uh, <laughs> with all the dirt stuff on it uh, it's not it, 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 it copes it loses a lot of its straight line speed it does tops out about 150 whereas the, the the street version of this or whatever will easily do sort of 170 180 and get there a hell of a lot quicker uh, we've really fluffed this one up we <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it was it was a bit a bit scrappy, but um, but never mind. Here's the exit here. Hey, there we go, and we've found ourselves um, out of the out of the track. I like I like the upgrading system. It it means that it will take a little while to get uh, to get a car sort of maxed out if you like. You will have to spend quite a long time. And then there's once you get to level 50, once you complete the game or whatever, you unlock these platinum medals that give you really big. Sort of performance boosts with the parts. So yeah, if you want to max out a car with like level, like really high level parts, you're gonna to have to go really, really quickly on some tough events. I think it makes it makes it interesting. It makes it means that to get parts for the car, you have to be skilled, a skilled driver, which I think makes for it makes for an interesting change rather than just having uh, having lots of money. I think I'm running out of things to to say. One <laughs> one thing that does annoy me. Uh, a while ago, when I was talking about the uh, the wheel spin problem. Oh, for God's sake, I pressed the wrong button again. Uh, the nitro in this game, you won't see me using uh, nitro that much, especially not with the faster cars, for for a fairly simple reason. The nitro is effectively a wheel spin button more than a speed boost. Uh, I think this car will actually no, we'll probably be better off. Oh, there you go, another another fa <laughs> fantastic wing on the uh, the circuit alpha. Uh, I think this car will pro the performance alpha will probably show it off. Uh, show it off best. Right, we'll, we'll go... where was that bloody track on that I've just driven out of? <laughs> Arse. Go back on the track where we're not going to run into anything. Uh, right, fast travel. Back to the circuit. I'm not going to drive the wrong way around. That would screw with my head. Right, we will go around here. Okay, right, I, I know how to gear, honestly. Um, yeah, the minute that you put the, <laughs> put the nitro on, you just get wheel spin. It's all you get. Whether it be from like a low speed, whether it, whoo, okay, big sideways moment. Whether it be from second gear, third gear, it's still actually that time they don't really have enough nitro. But if you hold the nitro for any length of time, you just get wheel spin. It doesn't matter if you're doing whoa, that was a big two wheel <laughs> moment, bloody hell. It doesn't matter if you're doing here. If I change up gears, fifth gear, it's still just wheel spin from the car. I can be doing 200 miles an hour 
and I can put my foot down or put the nitro on and it's still wheel spin. You don't really ever... Like, the, the, the speed boost you get from the nitro is almost... Ooh dear, we've gone around in a circle. Uh, is almost completely counteracted by the fact that you are just sitting there and spinning your wheels and you have very little control of it. it I, I just don't want to use the nitro ever because there's just a bigger chance of me having a crash as is of it helping me in any way. It's it's again it's just an odd an odd way of doing nitro. It's almost as if the nitro is far too powerful for the actual car. If you're spinning, like, if the car's moving along at 200 miles an hour, you fire the nitro and it's still and the and the rear wheels are suddenly losing traction. That's not a good. <laughs> that's not. A, I mean, I can understand from very low speeds, like if you're he's setting off initially and in low gears and stuff. But if the car's already doing the speeds, and I don't, it doesn't seem to make much sense to me. And I just don't really want to use the nitro. It's not it's not really that advantageous. To get the most out of it, you have to wait until a very, very long straight where there is nothing around for you to hit. Because if you fire up at, at, at high speeds with nitro, the car will just randomly slide around. So if it's in a busy area, you're going to end up in the back of another civilian car or in a house. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it just doesn't really work, to be honest. So I tend not to really mess around with the nitro uh, the nitro too much I, I having said that you know it can it has its uses from time to time but it's very rare that it's ever actually helpful uh, the final thing that I will say about this game uh, that I that I do like that I do like very much uh, is basically you see a bit of terrain and you can drive at it uh, I, I I do like that in in, in a game uh, you can do it in test drive unlimited 2 that was a lot of fun uh, horizon you can to a point, but there's still quite a few barriers. In this, there literally is there is nothing. If you see a mountain, uh, you can drive at it. We'll go over here, shall we? Uh, in our <laughs> in our high performance Alfa Romeo, you can drive up pretty much all of these mountains. It may get a little steep for the Alfa. I'm not sure if this if this bit will. Uh, whoa, we're down the other side and we're in some bushes. But those mountains over there, yeah, we want to go up them, then we can. There's absolutely nothing nothing stopping you. Occasionally there are some sort of rocky mountains or there may be a ravine you fall down, but you can pretty much go wherever the hell you want, uh, which is it is always very good fun. That's why I like the raid cars. It's just I can't be bothered to take the roads anymore. We're going to straight line everything. Oh, there's a helicopter. Uh, oh, dear, we're, go <laughs> we're going downhill now. Um, yeah, the, the map itself is very good. There's a lot to like about this game. In some way, or quite a few ways actually, it reminds me quite a lot of Test Drive Unlimited 2. This is not as technically good as Forza Horizon 2, nowhere near as technically good as, as Horizon 2. I will still enjoy playing this game though. I probably won't play it for as long uh, as Horizon, but I do still enjoy it. I do still like this because of the... Oh, I pressed the wrong button again. God damn it, I will remember how to get to the phone. Uh, just because of the fact that I can go exploring. On here, that's the, that is the the main attraction to this game is that I can just go exploring and have fun driving around, and the handling model is good enough to make that fun. There are some still some issues with the occasional little thing here and there, but it is still uh, still 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 good enough fun uh, to make it worthwhile. And I love the point of car at a mountain, and uh, you can go climbing. And of course, there is so much terrain on here for you to go uh, for you to go exploring on. Uh, this is only a, a small section that you're that you've seen so far. Uh, yeah, pretty much anywhere in, in sight over that way. Well, not much in, in sight over that way. If I wanted to go to that city, I could, or those mountains, I could, uh, wherever. And having that much freedom is all very, very cool. Uh, yes, there are some good things about it. It does still have its it have have some some downsides. Chiefly, the the difficulty in getting money, the time it takes to get any money, uh, to experiment with cars. I mean, the upgrades aren't cheap. It's about thirty, forty. I think it's thirty thousand to get the, the, the circuit kit. Uh, that's a lot of money per car, uh, as well as the money to buy the car. It just it is a good game, but it certainly has its flaws. I still very much enjoy this game, but it is by no means by no means perfect. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll be able to find something to have fun with uh, in this game, because there is, there is quite a lot of stuff uh, to like about it. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.